What up, though? I am Fontaine the Titan, and I got some hardcore information for you, and we about to get into Oprah Winfrey's role in this uh, Michael Jackson thing, all right? If y'all don't know, Oprah got, got uh, this network, the Oprah Winfrey network, that I'm about to get into some detail on so that we can follow this money trail and y'all can see exactly maybe what I see what's going on. Because a lot of people want to blame Oprah, like, oh, why would she put Michael Jackson out there and her and Michael Jackson used to be cool, blah, 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 blah. Hey, look, it ain't got nothing to do with whether her and Michael Jackson was cool or not. It ain't got nothing to do with her trying to destroy black people personally. It got to do with the fact that she has no power and we assume that she has power because we're assuming this is her network and we're thinking that what's going on in front of our face is exactly what's going on. Let's get into this, right? Uh, got some notes down here, so let me uh, break this down for you, all right? We think Oprah Winfrey owns the Oprah Winfrey Network. Listen to this. Oprah Winfrey Network is an American pay television channel jointly owned by Discovery, right? And Harper Studios, okay? So, it debuted on January 2011 in approximately 80 million homes, replacing the Discovery Health Channel, all right? The network is led by Oprah Winfrey and largely features non-scripted lifestyle programming as well as scripted drama and sitcom programming, reruns of talk show programming from the Harpo Studios Library. Much of its original programming is targeted towards African-American audience, all right? This was initially a 50-50 joint uh, venture uh, and Discovery acquired a larger stake in the network in 2017. They say uh, Harpo remains a significant minority stakeholder and Oprah Winfrey is contracted with the channel through at least 2025. So keep that in mind. Oprah Winfrey is under contract. And you know what happens when you want the contract. You got certain rules and guidelines that you have to apply by, you know. So if y'all thinking that Oprah Winfrey owned the Oprah Winfrey Network, eh, already psh, gone out of your head. Get that out of your head. She doesn't own it. And if she doesn't own it, how much creative uh, uh, influence does she actually have and what's going on on this network that she doesn't own, all right? Discovery announced that it would acquire an additional 24.5% stake in uh, OWN that it originally did not own for $70 million. So that 50% plus 24.5%, you up to 74.5% that is owned by Discovery, right? And Oprah, that other 25.5%, uh, she don't even own all of that. So she, I don't even know how much she owned of that. I didn't look that up because I didn't want her to follow the money going down. I wanted to follow the money going up. You know, I thought about it. I said, wait a minute. If Discovery own OWN, who owns Discovery? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let me get into Discovery real quick. Let me, let me tell you, Discovery had a net income of $1.2 billion in 2016. Discovery owns 19 channels, right? The Discovery Channel, Food Network, HGTV, TLC, Animal Planet, Travel Channel, Investigation Network, the Oprah Winfrey Network, the Science Channel, Discovery Family, Motor Trend, all right? The Cooking Channel, Do-It-Yourself Network, Great American Country, uh, American Heroes Channel, Destination America, uh... <laughs> De, uh, Discovery Life, Discovery and Espanol, Discovery Familia. So that's who all Discovery own. But like I said, let's see who owns Discovery. Discovery is owned by the Warner Media people, right? Warner Brothers. We all know them. The WB. Do, do, do. Remember they had the little dancing frog back in the day? Yeah, them same people, right? And Warner Media had a net income of $5.2 billion in 2017 and $69.2 billion in total assets. You hear me? $69.2 billion in total assets. And we, we sitting up here, we excited about Oprah having, what, a billion dollars? These people already got 70 times over the amount of people that own the people that own her, Right? But let's take this a step further because I'm sitting up there at this point. I'm like, all right, well, who owns Warner Brothers then? Well, guess what? Warner Brothers is owned by who? AT&T. 
AT&T founded in 1882 by Southern Bell. And you know who did that? That was your boy Alexander Graham Bell. Remember we heard about him in school inventing the telephone or whatnot, or allegedly inventing the telephone? I wasn't alive back then. I don't know who stole the patent from who or whatever. But let's get into this because AT&T ranks number nine on the Fortune 500 of corporations by total revenue. They had a net income of 19.9 billion dollars in 2018 and have 531 billion dollars in total assets right so these people got over 500 times the amount of money that oprah is holding on to right and we think oprah is a big dog with these people that she laying in the bed with huh she a little dog she this big and like I said, when you lie with dogs, you get fleas. If y'all thinking that Oprah got something to do with what's really going on on that network, look at who owns what. And keep in mind, the, the knowledge of what they want to do comes from the top. So it could start off Oprah thinking that she owning it and running it, but you see where she at. Why would she even sell any of her stuff in the first place? Did they strong her up or arm her up out of it? You know, did they tell her, hey, do you want to end up like Bill Cosby? <laughs> you know, because they probably got some dirt on her. I ain't saying that they do or they don't. But like I say, when you're dealing with these type of people, you got to understand how they operate. And they operating from a high level of, of, of everything, skills, money, all of this earthly stuff. So, but, let, but let's get back into this, right? Because I asked myself, well, who owns AT&T? Ah, now we about to get even hard, more hardcore. The Vanguard Group. The Vanguard Group is an American registered investment advisor with over 5.3 trillion dollars in assets under management. It is the largest provider of mutual funds and the second largest provider of exchange rated funds in the world behind BlackRock. So you mean to tell me it's somebody else too? They not even number one. I'm like, well, who is BlackRock? It says BlackRock is an American global investment corporation with $5.98 trillion in assets as of December 2018. Y'all hear what I'm saying? We talking about trillions of dollars that somebody is out here holding on to, making decisions about, and owning everything else that's up under them, right? It says BlackRock operates globally with 70 offices in 30 countries and clients in over 100 countries. All right. It says due to its power and the sheer scope of its financial assets and activities, BlackRock has been called the world's largest shadow bank. See, y'all got to pay attention when y'all follow that money. You follow that money, you find out that Oprah is on the lowest level of what we would consider wealthy. She ain't nowhere near wealthy to these corporations that own everything. And if you think that she got a bigger decision than what's going on, you are fooling yourself. Because as I said in my previous video uh, about the Gucci and fake boycotts and media mind control, this is, is round two, media mind control number two, follow that money. Because it goes higher than what you're thinking about. You thinking that these little companies got some say-so in what they doing? They being told from way up high, this is what we're going to do. We're putting on R. Kelly. We're putting on Michael Jackson. And there's nothing that y'all can do about it. They're putting this on. You thinking that everybody else in these networks on the bottom half, they're getting their orders from up high. Just like when you go to work and you got a boss, there's a boss over your boss, and you're mad because your boss told you something to do. But guess what? He had a boss to tell him to tell you what to do. And it's a boss over that boss that's telling him to tell him what to do. And so on and so on. It's the chain of command. And when you start looking at the top of the chain, then you start understanding where these decisions are being made. They're being made from the top. So Oprah's at the bottom of her job just like you are at the bottom of your job, right? Let's keep this all in perspective. And she don't got no say-so in what goes on on the channel that she doesn't even own anymore. And you can tell by the content that's been on her show and how it progressed over the years. And you see where it's at now. Because it was a lot more uplifting stuff on when, when the old network first came on, was it? That OWN network had a lot of good spiritual stuff. It's getting a lot more raunchy and ratchet now, ain't it? 
Yeah, so you see where the agenda is coming from. They did the same thing with BET when Rob Johnson uh sold them out and then remember uh BET used to have Teen Summit and all that cool stuff on there, you know, and but now look at it. Nothing but ratchetness and garbage. But this is the stuff that y'all want to watch. They but I don't think it, it's not that y'all want to watch it. They're not giving y'all no other option. If y'all want if if y'all want to watch TV, this is what they're going to put on TV for you to have you arguing and fighting about a whole bunch of different stuff that's not really even affecting your life personally. Because like I said, you got to get into your personal self. You got this is this is about the laws of polarity and the distractions that they are giving you. And it's not even who you think is distracting you. It goes way higher than that. So we got to stay focused, y'all. We got to work on our own mental environment and raising ourselves up, creating a reality for ourselves mentally, getting into our spiritual selves, getting in touch with that divine spark that's within us. Because all this other stuff don't matter, y'all. They distractions purposely put into place by people way higher up than who you think run it. You think, you think Oprah run it? Okay, let Oprah go against the grain against them people and she go end up like Bill Cosby. Or in fact, she go end up like Michael Jackson and like Prince. She go against the grain. You see what happened with them, right? You think Oprah want to end up dead? She, hey, she ain't got no choice. She go let them go ahead and do that Michael Jackson thing and she go shut up about it. Just like anybody else would do when they land in the bed with those grimy dogs with those fleas. And she got fleas just like everybody else in that industry got fleas. And they sit up here and they want to walk around and talk like they doing something spectacular. But it's people up over them, right? This is the chain of command. This is the pyramid scheme that they have against us. And we are on the bottom. And Oprah ain't no different than us. She right on the bottom with us. You think they go let her get up to that type of high level? Y'all think Jay-Z and, 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 uh, and all of them got really got some real power? They got a little bit of money. That's what they got. They got a little bit of money. We're talking about trillions of dollars here that's being wished around owned by very few people. So the difference is, is that Oprah's on the bottom and she has no control. Although we look at her like she has control, she really doesn't. So let's Watch who we place in our anger at and get unpolarized and understand the big picture of things. Because the big picture of this is they, this is their financial system, all right? If you're looking for financial freedom in their financial system, then you have lost your mind. What do you, how do you think we're going to take over their financial system if it's their financial system? At any given point, they can shut everything down, just like they did in 2008 when they did the uh, whole auto loan thing, paid the banks more money, didn't get the citizens nothing. Come on now, we got to pay more attention to what's going on. And the bottom line is, all of that's distractions, all of that stuff you're seeing on TV, that's media mind control designed to get you out of your mind thinking what they want you to think. Start thinking what you want to think. Start thinking about yourself, thinking about your spiritual, your own personal growth, your own divine spark, your own personal life, right? And that's how you, that's how we defeat them on a spiritual level, on a level that they can't tap into, right? So tap into your own spiritual power, your own divine spark, recognize who you are, right? On your journey and trust me, all those other distractions that y'all thinking about and going on, they're going to start disappearing slowly but surely once you get out of their game. Because that's their game that they playing, right? So, you know, wear what you want to wear. Well, watch what you want to watch. But at the end of the day, understand what they are doing and who's doing it, right? Let's stay successful, peaceful, prosperous, and healthy. Let's get to know ourselves, right? So, with that being said, like, subscribe, share. Recognize what the real distractions are and keep on raising it up, raising it up, raising it up. And with that being said, peace.